activated through your obedience. Amen. Second Samuel chapter 6. We're going to start reading at verse 6. And it says, And when they came to Nacon's threshing floor, Uzzah put forth his hand to the ark of God and took hold of it, for the oxen shook it. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and God smote him there, or he killed him for his error. And there he died by the ark of God. And David was displeased because the Lord had made a breach upon Uzzah, and he called the name of the place Perazuza to this day. In verse 9, and David was afraid of the Lord that day and said, How shall the ark of the Lord come to me? So David would not remove the ark of the Lord unto him into the city of David, but David carried it aside into the house of Obedidim, the Gittite. And the ark of the Lord continued in the house of Obedidim, the Gittite, three months. And the Lord blessed Obedidim and all his household. And it was told King David, saying, The Lord has blessed the house of Obedidim and all that pertaineth unto him because of the ark of God. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obedidim into the city of David with gladness. And it was so that when they that bear the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, he sacrificed oxen and fatlings. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. And David was girded with a linen ephod. In verse 15, so David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the trumpet. Amen. And I'm just going to preach about this this morning. Turn to your neighbor and tell them this. It's time. It's time. It's time. As when that happens, you know something's about to happen real good. Turn to your neighbor and tell him this. It's time for you to put a praise on it. It's time for you to put a praise on it. It's time for you to put a praise on it. Amen. Come on, this is for all the folks that don't want to praise and don't want to worship. It's time for you to put a praise on it. Put a you may be seated. We have to backtrack a little bit so you understand exactly what is going on. The first thing we have to get to is why was the ark outside of the city of David? And if you start to study it out, there was a lot of warfare that went on in that day. And the Philistines had basically come in and, and basically just did a lot of damage and they stole they stole the ark of God they took it they, I'm preaching already to somebody because many times we allow the enemy through lack of obedience to come into our camp and to take things to strip us from things that belong to us but because there's, there's gaps or there's, there's breaches in the hedge, yeah. 